I salute the vision and mission of Mercy Ships and ask that you join me in supporting their noble work and contribute to make this world a better place. I thank you. As the world mourns the loss of an inspiring leader, South Africa mourns the loss of a father to a nation. In December 2013, the people of the Eastern Cape welcomed Mandiba home to his final resting place in Kunu. Mandela's hopes and dreams for a better education for all, available healthcare and equal opportunities for every race still lives on in the hearts of many who continue to strive towards building a better nation. Mercy Ships, through its Mercy Vision program, continues to heed that call in bringing hope and healing to the underprivileged people living in the hills and valleys of the Eastern Cape, where daily chores of washing clothes, fetching water, practicing subsistence farming, and herding their flock remain the focus of their daily routines to survive. Over the past two years, Mercy Vision teams have been visiting remote clinics, providing free eye examinations to assess the vision needs of patients, dispensing medication and spectacles where necessary, and scheduling those who have severe cataracts for surgery at the Mercy Vision Zitulele Eye Care Center. In the year ending March 2014, over 190 patients have since regained their sight after successful cataract surgery. This good news has quickly spread across the region, resulting in a dramatic increase of people arriving at the local clinics, where the Mercy Vision team faithfully arrives on a daily basis to unpack and set up their equipment for a day of screening. Most patients have to walk for miles, often arriving the night before in order to secure their spot in the long queues, as basic transport facilities remain scarce and unreliable in this region. Despite these challenges, people constantly arrive in great numbers, desperate to receive basic eye care and eager to own a pair of reading glasses. Those who are already blind remain hopeful that they too will one day receive the miracle to see again as they patiently wait their turn to be screened and diagnosed. Staff can be overwhelmed by the numbers that arrive and sadly often have to turn away disappointed patients by the end of a long day. Since 2012, uh, there have been a big increase in numbers of the people we see. Um, people have been telling each other of our service because they, they like it and they're really happy about it because they haven't had anyone seeing them. And mostly with our country patients, people are really excited. They want to tell everyone who have a problem with their eyes, they think we're going to operate on them. Not only have the patient numbers increased, but so have the Mercy Vision team members, as local staff are continually added, mentored, trained and equipped to give excellent service and patient care. I finished my degree just last year. The bursary called me for community service. I could have gone somewhere else, but uh, I had an option, but I chose to come to this place simply because I know the people here, they need more, 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 more. People in the rural areas are not really exposed to this eye care and I chose to come here because I know people here are much in need. So it's, uh, it's rewarding because people here, they are really happy for the services that uh, we provide and the special messages, giving them free eye tests and very affordable classes. So I think it's a good. 
Mercy ships are very satisfied with what is being accomplished in this area of the Eastern Cape, none of which would have been possible without the help of our generous funders. A few years ago, there was virtually no eye care in this region, and we originally set out to train ophthalmologists in high volume cataract surgeries to take care of the backlog. This year, the program has gone full circle in that our first ophthalmologist trained on our ship in 2009, Dr. Gobani Tuswa, provided training for our current full-time surgeon, Dr. Althea LaRue, at the Zitulele Eye Care Center. She now has the skills to accelerate the number of cataract surgeries required and help reduce the backlog. By March 2014, 6,782 patients have been attended to. 2,320 pairs of glasses have been dispensed. 419 cataract patients have been identified and 193 surgeries have been successfully performed. Just as the needs of patient eye care increases, so will the needs of a growing team as established staff and family will require practical means of accommodation closer to the vicinity and area of service. As endless as this task may seem, Mercy Ships will keep moving forward, bringing hope and healing to the forgotten poor, one person at a time.